got heaps of these aluminium bars. They're already cut in size and drilled. Remember, we used these ones here on the garage roof here for extending our solar system. So the panels actually set higher above the roof. And yeah, and yeah, it looks like I've got um, still heaps of them because we don't have these extensions anymore because we don't have the installation anymore. These ones are perfect because these two holes here, they are lining perfectly up with the two humps on the roof. My wife said this is a bit excessive. I don't know what she means. <laughs> it is just a temporary setup, a temporary setup. Well guys, anyway, welcome back to the Offcut Garage in sunny Australia. I had around 45 amps today at around noon. And now 7.7 uh, .7 amps outside, 30% state of charge. Not too bad actually, but we want to improve this. I want to see at least 40% here, maybe even 45, 50 if I'm lucky. And I have prepared all my screws and aluminium bar here to mount the first uh, tilt leg, the tilt system on the house roof, uh, just to see how it works, if it works, how sturdy it is. And because we are only four or five days away from the shortest time down here in Australia. And this will also be my measure point for the solar panel rows so they don't shade each other. Because then the sun won't go any further down. That's it. From there on, it gets better every single day. Not for most of you guys. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bragging about this, but this whole thing with the seasons and shading makes, makes, makes it all very interesting. So this would be the middle screw holding up this tilt bracket. I've got this other sticky rubber already underneath. And look at these holes. It fits perfectly these humps. So on this one over here. So these are the existing screws in the roof and these are the ones coming with the bracket. So they look a bit different. But once you put these ones in, you can never go back to these because it, it widens the hole inside the profile in the roof structure. And you can always only use these larger ones then, which is fine. Oh, that is, yeah, fits. No, it's good, it's good. Ah, oh, really, that's a different size. Of course. Lining up, lining up, lining up, lining up. And this one is a f up. Because I wanted to start over there somewhere and I measured everything, all the holes and stuff. But I need to measure, I need to start over here because this is where the inverter will be mounted and the cable will then go down and it goes there along this timber over to the pull fence system. And well, this doesn't fit anymore. It's good, it's good. I'm showing this because um, people think I'm perfect and not making mistakes. Well, I don't. I don't make mistakes. Nobody does. It's just a learning experience. <laughs> okay, so we are exactly here. Okay, I'll be back in a second. I'm back. Now it's lining up. So obviously I cannot use these shorter screws anymore here. I have uh, slightly larger ones. Not sure they are long enough. They should be. I'll give it a try. I don't want to use these rockets here for everything. Wow. Uh. I'm trying to find this hole again in the profile. Oh, I think I got it. 
Yep, got it. I really think one screw is enough. <laughs> that is a lot of force. Oh shitty. That is already bomb fist. Holy crap. Okay, I potentially can change my plan a bit here. I think five screws is far over the top, far over. This is not moving at all here, nothing. So if we take only three screws, one in the middle and one on each side, that should be totally sufficient. Holy shitty, wow. I don't need five screws or even seven. What did I think? <laughs> it's so bomb fist. <laughs> Three screws. This is all it needs. There yeah, will be no storm. I mean, that'll be. Oh wow. Rock solid. Okay, perfect. Okay, I have to modify my um, brackets now and my aluminium bar. But apart from that, looking good. Okay, first one done, I say. Okay, my friends, I have mounted now all four rear legs of our till system with five screws into the roof structure. Plenty, plenty of mounting points. And the sun is going to set in the next 10 minutes and then 20 minutes later, it's pitch black. So we will continue mounting our tilt system here on the roof tomorrow morning. And maybe we can already mount two of the panels here I'm not sure, maybe Andy too is coming over. He said something about he's in this area here and wanted to have a look. But you know how he is, right? So let's see what is going to happen tomorrow morning. <laughs> there is bomb vest. And we also have to cut this cross rail here. Two of them, one at the front, one at the back. No, actually four. And then we need another two for the second row here. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay, um, I guess I can leave this stuff here on the roof until tomorrow. It'll be good. All right, you have a good night's sleep, sweet dreams. See you tomorrow morning. It's, um, that's why it takes always so long <laughs> to get anything done. Oh, did you just think I would leave you back on the roof just by yourself? Oh, come on, guys. I would never do that.